Okay, chem students, today we are going to talk about specific heat. You need your blue notes packet open to page four and your white practice packet open to page six. Now, specific heat capacity, or simply specific heat of a substance, is the amount of heat it takes to raise the temperature of one gram of that substance by one degree Celsius. Our formula is provided here. Q is the heat energy in joules, M is the mass, and then delta T is the change in temperature. Now, change in temperature is going to always be the final temperature minus the initial temperature. This means the units for specific heat are joules over grams times Celsius. Now, to solve for heat energy, we're always going to rearrange the equation for Q. Q is going to equal MC delta T. Now, to practice this, I want you to look at your white practice packet. We're going to do sample A together. How much thermal energy in joules is needed to raise the temperature of 50 grams of water from 14 degrees Celsius to 83 degrees Celsius? So the first thing we want to do is figure out what delta T is. So delta T is T final minus T initial. We plug in those numbers, we get 83 minus 14. So our change in T is going to be 69 degrees. Now we're going to plug it into the Q equals MC delta T. That's going to be the formula we use to solve for energy. Q is energy. So we're going to plug in 50.0 for M, 4.18 for C. We got C from the chart of specific heats we provide. And 69 is what we got for delta T. So when we do the math here, we get 14,000 joules, and we rounded that for sig figs. Okay, well now let's try sample B. How much thermal energy in joules must be added to 50 kilograms of aluminum at minus 5 degrees Celsius to raise its temperature to 125 degrees Celsius? Now, first thing we need to do is figure out what our delta T is. Delta T is T final minus T initial. So that is 125 minus a negative 5. So that changes things. That's why we're going to make sure we have parentheses if we need them. Because that means our overall temperature change is 130. Now we come back over here. Our formula is Q equals MC delta T. We plug in our numbers. 50,000 because it's kilograms and we need to convert that to grams. 0.903 is our specific heat for aluminum, and then our temperature change was 130. Now when we do the math there, we get 5,870,000 joules. Okay, our last example we're going to do is sample C. I want you all to try to do this one on your own. So go ahead and take a minute, see if you can get the answer. Okay, let's see how you did. So first thing we need to do is figure out what is our change in temperature. So delta T is T final minus T initial. So that would be 39 minus 21, which means our delta T is 18. So let's go and plug it into our formula. Q equals MC delta T. M was 165. Our specific heat for copper, if we look on that chart, is 0.385. And like we said, our delta T is 18. So when we do the math here, we're going to get 1,140 joules. Again, that's rounded for sig figs. Okay, there's one last thing we need to talk about for specific heat. Some substances, such as metals, have low specific heats. That means it doesn't take a lot of energy to cause a temperature change for them. 
Now other substances such as water have very high specific heats. It takes much more energy to cause a temperature change for those. Now the question for you is this. On a summer day, why does the concrete deck around a swimming pool become really, really hot while the water stays a lot cooler? The answer is because water has a much higher specific heat, meaning it takes a lot more energy for us to notice a temperature change in the water. So even though it's been outside in the sun being heated all day, it has a high specific heat. It doesn't change temperature that much. It'll increase a little bit, but not a whole lot. Now the concrete around the pool has a low specific heat, so it absorbs all that energy and holds on to it. Okay, that's it for today's notes. Make sure you do pages 6 and 7 in your white homework packet.